of what happened. I'll put the links down in the description box. And 9-11-2012, what we're looking at here is a CIA black-on-black -black murder of Stevens because he was exposing ISIS gun running. He was a good guy. Stevens was. The CIA killed him. And Trey Gowdy knows it. And he's running cover for them. Hillary agrees to testify before the Benghazi committee just once. What kind of crap is that? I cannot believe that I'm looking at this. The, I cannot cover all the information about what went on in Benghazi in this 15-minute video. It's impossible. There's so much to cover. How's Hillary going to explain anything in one meeting with Trey Gowdy? That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Gowdy should haul her butt in there and continue asking questions and demanding more information until the truth comes out. That's the way the system works. If Trey Gowdy is going to play good cop, bad cop, and he's never going to get the truth, then what are we paying him for? Get him out of there. Get somebody else in there. Okay. That that's how we're gonna that's how how we're gonna begin here. So Trey Gowdy is now hot at Hillary's email uh, trail. At latest, Clinton scan as it widens. Okay. <laughs> so Hillary Clinton was Secretary of State 2009 to 2013, if my memory serves. 2009. Congress is supposed to be providing oversight of the State Department and Hillary Clinton as the Secretary. 2009 is whenever this email server was set up. How is it that Trey Gowdy doesn't know about the server until now? Anybody that Hillary Clinton wrote from her email addresses received a copy of the email. If Trey Gowdy will subpoena all the emails from everybody on Hillary Clinton's contact list, he'll have all the emails. But Trey Gowdy does not want the emails. Do you know why? Because Congress will be implicated in those emails. Because of what I'm about to show you right now. Trey Gowdy knows everything that I'm about to tell you right now. And he is sitting on this case, kicking the can. Here's what the facts are. The CIA was involved in the Benghazi attack. Most certainly, CIA gun running. CIA run, runs more guns on this planet than everybody else combined. CIA. That's right. And what I want to know is who issued the stand down order. Have you heard anything about a, the, the stand down order that was issued? Where are General Ham? Where's General Ham? And this other general, I can't even say his name. Okay, just go through the information. We were ordered to stand down in Benghazi. They ignored these orders, and there's a lot of counterintelligence disinformation out there on the internet trying to debunk the truth. But this is what happened within minutes. Ham, he, this is an AFRICOM commander. His job is to protect the people at Benghazi, the people in his area. He got the report of the attack. His job is to deploy. That's what his job is. So he got the stand down order and he said, screw that, I'm going to deploy anyway. And he was relieved of command. That's the fact. Who relieved him of command? Where did the stand down order come from? Was it from Obama or was it from Denver CIA? That's what, uh, something in none of these stories nobody's talking about. Langley CIA is the B team. The A team works with the Council on Foreign Relations Working Groups in Denver. That's where the stand down order came from and Obama is a CIA operative. That's where this that's why there's a continuity flow right through Obama and you don't even know where he was during Benghazi because he's nodding his head up and down to the CIA out of Denver. That's a fact. Intrigue surrounding the secret CIA operation in Benghazi, it's not going away. No, it's not going away. Read through the information that you see right here. Because you remember Katala? You're not hearing about him anymore, are you? He was arrested as a boot on the ground. He works for the CIA. The CIA ran the attack. The CIA has been working inside of Al-Qaeda and now ISIS from the very beginning. That's why they're still around. Otherwise, the CIA, very good at, infiltr at, at infiltrating things. This story says that CIA operators were denied requests for help during the Benghazi attack, but Stevens 
ask for more security at least six times. Where are those emails from Stevens to Billery? Where are they? Those requests were definitely made and they were denied because Hillary is in on what the CIA is doing. This gun running was for ISIS. Remember, this is going back to 2012. Just Google. I didn't pull that up for you. But um, the CIA and the DOD trained ISIS in Jordan in 2012. The ISIS gun running was going through Benghazi. And we're, ta we're talking about a whole bunch of gun running, like record amounts of gun running. And Stevens, being a good guy, was exposing what was going on with ISIS. That Obama, that's the reason Obama pulled all the troops out of Iraq, so that ISIS could fill, ISIS is Obama. People are saying Obama's not having any success against ISIS. Obama is ISIS. He's having plenty of success. The intelligence that ISIS needs is being provided by the CIA. That's why they're still in operation over there. New report, Brennan's black ops in Libya caused B Benghazi Gate, Stevens death. Yes, it did, because exactly what I'm telling you, Stevens was aware of the gun running. He was working for the CIA. Let's look down this page on this story, Stevens and CIA gun running. According to the Daily Mail, Webb and Murphy's book, does document that Stevens likely helped consolidate as many weapons as possible after the war to safeguard them, at which point Brennan ex exported them overseas to start another conflict. This is the gun running, but still, this does not make the ISIS connection. That's what they're trying to hide right, right now. In this story, the Defense, the, Defense, the Defense Department had live video of attack in Benghazi. This is a fact. Two CIA DOD drones were overhead. Anyone with the access codes could watch Stevens be murdered right through the walls with the high technology that they have. And the story's going to say this feed was not given to the Situation Room at the White House. That's baloney. All they need is the access codes. Anybody in the global intelligence community, the global military industrial complex, globally, anybody, even Putin, even the Chinese, Kid watch Stevens murder. This there are copies of this of the video circulating in the global intelligence community right now, and Trey Gowdy knows it. He has all the information that's needed, but he is dragging his feet. Do you know why? I know why. Because Congress members are implicated in the Hillary emails. Members of Congress are involved with the CIA gun running. CIA has infiltrated the White House, that's what Obama is, and Capitol Hill. Now you can decide for yourself if Trey Gowdy is working with the CIA. I believe that's what's happening here. He said he's playing good cop, bad cop, acting like, oh, Hillary this. No, he's working with Hillary. They're dancing on a stage. Nobody's going to be made accountable. Look at Lois Lerner. Look at Holder. Also involved in CIA gun running. Right? Targeting of right wingers like me from Lerner. Where is it? Those emails were sent to somebody else too. All of these emails, especially the ones that were sent to other government people, that they must follow the, the dot gov communication protocols. Hard copying, there are backups and backups and backups. All of this information is accessible by Trey Gowdy. He doesn't need the State Department to give him anything. But he's pandering. He's playing. Give me the evidence that you are corrupt. Who's going to do that? Nobody's going to do that. Arms to Al-Qaeda. U.S. generals admit Washington has backed Islamic militants in Syria. What it's not going to talk about is the ISIS connection. The gun running. The ISIS is Obama. Al-Qaeda is Obama. The 9-11 attacks, go to my website, terral03.com, 9-11 section. It was done by the CIA. It was done by Bush and Cheney, particularly Cheney and Rumsfeld. They worked together, continuity of government exercises, for years since the, um, well, for years. And they disappeared every year, making ready for the 9-11 attacks, inside job. So many similarities. The stand-down order that Dick Cheney issued... That he ordered is the reason the Pentagon was attacked. A stand-down order was issued at Benghazi. 
That's why the generals were relieved. Who issued the stand down order, uh, Mr. Trey Gowdy? When are you going to start asking the right questions and stop pandering to Hillary? Like she's some kind of a goddess or something. No, drag her down there. Now here's what you do. Is you subpoena all the emails from her server. She commingled private and government. That means she gave up her right to her personal emails. They are commingled with government. And you want all of them. Every single one of them. Every one she does not turn over. She is guilty for three years. Three years in prison. You can put her in, in prison for three years for every one that she deleted. All you have to do is make the request. You receive the emails, but then you go behind her and you subpoena everybody that is on her contact list, every email for the time period that we're talking about here, 2009 beyond. Anything that went to the Clinton server is your property. Subpoena it. That's what your that's your job. Whenever you find that she deleted any email that you received from these anyone on her contact list, you've got her. That's all you need. That's obstruction of justice. Okay? That's all you got to do. It's that simple. You're supposed to be some kind of great investigator, great prosecutor, but not if you're in bed with Hillary. And I can see very clearly. I know what the truth is about Benghazi. I know he was murdered. I know he was murdered by the CIA, and so do you. And the cover-up is what's going on here. These people watched as Stevens was murdered from the CIA DOD drones that were overhead. You want to see the images from those drones, Mr. Gowdy, right? I have a right to see them. And you do too. If you're going to ask for them, but if you're not, then you're on the same team with Obama and Hillary, and you're as corrupt as they are. That's what it boils down to. The generals are admitting that the United States is running guns to Al-Qaeda and also to ISIS. Look at this right here. Directly to ISIS. Okay. Video, CIA's Benghazi weapons used by ISIS in Iraq. Exhausted MB Obama golfs. ISIS pictures of mass killings. ISIS is Obama and the US, United States of America. And if Trey Gowdy doesn't expose this, he is complicit. You think that you are going to hold Hillary accountable? I can trust you. Trust me on this. God is going to hold you accountable at the judgment. And if, you, if your hands are dirty in any way, if you're standing in the way of justice then you're going to go into the lake of fire with them and that's where you belong and we are going to visit you there Mr. Gowdy you need to wake up and get right with God and expose what's going on it's right under your nose you have access to more information than me right I'm just pulling this stuff up off the internet All right? these reports so this is not an indictment against Hillary I know Hillary's corrupt I know Hillary's a liar and she has lied right from the beginning. That's a little bit of that's coming out. She comes out, oh, it was a video that we had nothing to do with. At this point, what does it matter? Stevens was murdered for gun running by the CIA. Hillary is covering up a CIA black operation. And these black ops go on all the time. But if Mr. Gowdy is not going to expose it, like he's supposed to, representing we the people, then the CIA is going to continue murdering Americans, just like they murdered an ambassador to the United States. What that what the reason this is not going to come out and Trey Gowdy's going to keep hiding it is because it reveals the underbelly of corruption. Hillary has that big grin on her face because she knows where the bodies are buried. She knows that she can get Trey Gowdy, the Congress, the administration, everybody, the lettered agencies, she knows she's got everybody by the short ones. And Trey Gowdy is just playing um, badminton back and forth with her. Oh, I'm going to come once. Really? You think that all this is going to be explained in one little talk with, with Billary? No. Dry her, haul her butt down there today and make her testify until we get the truth. That's your job. Do your job or get the hell out of the way and let somebody else do the job. Otherwise, you 